Hey everybody, welcome back for some more Pokemon Violet off-screen. I, uh, I got Tandemouse. Uh, <laughs> it is, uh, it's an adamant nature as well, so I don't know if that's perfect nature. I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, it was over there by the, by the birds, so, uh, a modest nature, really. <laughs> that one's not good. And that one's definitely not good. Well, of course I get no luck with it when it comes to natures. Um, we are on our way down to the the dark type uh, team star area. There's a normal. Didn't see that when I was walking down here. Uh. Is Numble already a ground type? I can't remember. Oh, we're just gonna do that again. Oh dear. Well, I have been walking uh, with Pomo again to see if maybe I didn't have enough steps. So hopefully we are getting closer. Um, I guess we'll find out when he levels up again. Fire ground type, I was right. Okay, that's a good thing I didn't use nuzzle, I would have looked like a complete idiot. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time, but... Alright, let's get a quick heal. And then we're gonna work our way towards there. So, we're gonna do this area, and then in... I mean, it'll probably take the whole video. So, in the next episode, we're gonna be doing the electric gym, and then coming back over to this way, so we could do the water gym. And then we have. Oh, wait. Should I throw him out again? Yeah. Come with me, little dude. Um, and then after that, I think we have the normal gym. And another Titan to do. I think we do the Titan before doing the gym. You, uh, you coming there, bud? I just wish he was a little bit faster. We're getting ever so closer. It's it's nice to be able to like open up some more of these areas because the last like day or so of not recording is just like I want to go further. <laughs> I, I, I want to keep going. What the? Gimme, gimme. I'm gonna get hurt doing this. Please don't use a flying type move. I think Whirlwind only works if I'm under his level. I think that's how that works. Hoping that I can get this and the gyms done and out of the way. That'll be nice. Bomb Birdie or Flying Dark type. I do love the dark type, so I'm probably gonna use him one day. I don't yeah, it doesn't evolve. Come on, little buddy. So apparently I was supposed to do this area first and then do the fire one, but <laughs> you know me. So this one shouldn't be as hard. Ah, it's you, Mark. Clive. It's me, Clive, the normal academy student. Anyway, Mark, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star and what's causing its members' odd behavior? 
Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases plotting to cause trouble for the academy. But these are rumors. The matter I'm directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while now, five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. And it seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students inf affiliated with their team. But I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Cassiopeia, it couldn't have come at a more crucial time. It's Cassiopeia, can you hear me? Another time, then. Be careful. Alright, I see you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? Nobody. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. <laughs> Proceed with ca extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Let's go! Hopefully I walked enough, so if it levels up, it'll it'll be all right. Whoa, whoa, hold it, you. Up ahead's the base of operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the Sagan Squad. Yup, and we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffling around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amigo, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but... Are you that Mark kid? You know, that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. Maybe I am, he says. Cool as a cucumber. Honesty's not always the best policy, you know. You know what? It doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by me and Battle Kid. What'll it be? I'll take you on. Sassy kids like you are the worst, that's it. Prepare to get stomped into the dirt. Alright, let's see what you got. Oh, they're doing the... <laughs> I can't get over the star thing. <laughs> oh, it's a Murkrow. Well, this is perfect. Please be paralyzed. She goes. Baton pass. No. Why did such a sassy kid have to be so strong? My sass gives me strength. Oh. Ah, oh, Fido's evolving. So it was 26, not 25. Okay. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Dash bun. The surface of this Pokemon's skin hardens when exposed to intense heat, and its body has an appetizing aroma. But can you eat him? Because <laughs> that sounds terrifying. <laughs> that Pokemon is constantly in danger. How the heck could I lose? Well, whatever. It's your problem now. Finish up here for me, would you? Okay, thanks. I'll still love this star. <laughs> She's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. 
Well, I'm going to go into the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. We'll come at you full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, amigo. Okay. Let's see. I see that you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now, hold up in that base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the Sagan Squad. Their boss, uh, Giacomo, pretty much runs the whole of Team Star. And he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war won't have ruffled him in the slightest. His plan to, is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts and finish you off himself. No use trying to overthink strategic types like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. Just keep on defeating as many as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Sagan squad off the map. Alright. I think we're good to go in there. And once we heal up a little. Just in case. Um, let's swap you in. Because I think it uses the first three, like last time. Yep. Alright, what's the timer this time? Some kid lurked out, uh, lucked out beating one of our sister squads, and now he thinks he can take us on. Time to give him the boot gang, let's show this gate crasher what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, gate crasher, know this. Unless you can beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. It shouldn't be too hard. Well, there's a bunch already. Seven already, so <laughs> uh, oh, sable eyes. Macro, oh crap. Ooh, Zora. That's cool. Need one more. There. All 30. Now for the boss. He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I guess they all drive on these cars. Good god. Boss of Team Star's Dark Crew, Giacomo. So let's see what he's got. You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher. I'm Giacomo, and at the deck I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to our outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick Requiem as you crash and burn. 
Let's get this party started. All right. I mean, he's weaker than the other one, but hopefully not too much weaker. Oh, this is easy. That thing's gonna go down so fast. You don't really think things through, do you? Declaring war on Team Star is a real bad move. Uh, you're not gonna think that way once I hit you with this. <laughs> I mean, Steel Dark type, double leap the fighting. Not good. So I'm guessing he's gonna use the car again. Yep. Time to up the tempo, the show ain't over yet. Mm. Is it faster than me? Intimidate. Metal sound. Well, that didn't work. One. Please get full hits. Three. Oh, we got four. And five. Nice. And we can get one more of those. We'll be, we'll be golden. Dodge it again. Yes! Pomo. <laughs> you got it. We only got two that time. Damn. Wicked Torque. That did nothing. How's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up good, Party Crasher. <laughs> you barely did anything. <laughs> oh my god. I like when they brag when they do nothing. Yeah, I definitely should have came here to this one first. He dodged metal sound again. Oh my god. Two more should do it. Come on. No, three more. Wait a that. Reverend fainted. Giacomo is down. that's that. Yep, another Team Star member down. About a year and a half ago. <laughs> Guess that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted to take on some stuff, so we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we gotta make some team rules like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice, you'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? No thanks, way too much pressure. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I used to be the president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male student's hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> and so, your rules were of vexation made manifest. My point exactly, and you'll all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck-up student council prez isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by Giacomo. I'm looking at now. I'd follow that any day. As would I. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge with you. 
We did it. I'll give you this choice, TM2. You earned it fair and square. Foul play. <laughs> so, this is how the party ends. But let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong. You only saw one of them. <laughs> you, <laughs> you learn those trainer chops at the academy. Like, what moves you should use and stuff. Sh sure, at the academy. <laughs> you like it at the academy? Having fun? No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a Quaxwell to style that up for you? <laughs> I'm just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's gonna be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. Seems all of you and Team Star are headed for explosion if you keep up your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. And where is this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him. In, I don't know, must be a year and a half now? We thought if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers keep pressing us to call it quits, and then we get party crashes like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So did Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? Is the sky blue? Let me put it in words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. <laughs> well, that'll do it for Team Dark. Well, the Dark. No more words. <laughs> Let's see. It's me. I take it that Giacomo's star badge is now in your possession. I see. With its boss out of the picture, the Sagan squad is pretty much done for. Giacomo. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Ooh, I got a ton of that now. You can now make more kinds of TMs. Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'll have my supply unit rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials. Okay. It's me again from the supply unit. What the heck? <laughs> Stop that. Somebody help. <laughs> you just went right after Penny. <laughs> it drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? I guess that's one word for it. What is it really that special? Um, before I forget, here's your reward. Thank you. Your name's Mark Wright. Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They're pretty strong. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. And all they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. Hm. That's just info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses. Someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. <laughs> uh, good luck with taking down the other boss or bases. Alright. Well, that is going to do it for today's episode. 
If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and come on back for more. Uh, in the next episode, we are going to be going from this area over to here. Because we're going to do the electric gym. And then after that, we have to come all the way back <laughs> over to here and go to the water gym. And then I think the normal one is after that. I believe. And then after the normal, I think it's the ghost one. But anyway, uh, that's going to do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, do all the things, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.